Okay. Uh, what we're going to do today is that we're going to um, see how we can reset the password of Linux. Especially what we're going to see is how we can uh, reset the root password of Red Hat Linux 9. Speci specifically, we're going to see this version of Linux. But in general, it should work on all the, uh, you know, most of the variants of the Linuxes. So all the distros, you, you, the process is pretty general, but we are going to specifically see it for RHEL 9, how you can reset the root password. So the situations might be um, something like you, let's say, forgot the password, the root password. So in that case, uh, you so, sort of have to reset the root password and one way to do it is with the grab menu so you have to get into the grab menu so before it uh, you know uh, it boots into the Linux uh, into OS the uh, grab menu lets you select the, the, the OS the kernels so from there you get to uh, change couple of uh, options with that we can uh, get into the system uh, and get options to uh, reset the passwords so um, yeah so there are mainly two methods we're going to see method one is you can edit the grab menu so remember you have to select the rescue kernel we will see uh, both of the different kernels but in general the process is you have to first select the rescue kernel with E to edit the the kernel parameters then at the end of the line that starts with Linux you just have to put this phrase rd.break so and then just press ctrl x to start the boot process then uh, you have to mount the sysroot with mount hyphen o then remount redrag at read write mode you have to run this comment then you have to change uh, so, so c, c, c h root to the sys root directory then you get to change the password of the root and then you have to uh, make the dot this hidden file dot auto reliable this is for uh, for AC Linux, uh, well, as soon as AC Linux sees this file after rebooting, it will automatically re level uh, all the files. So, this is a very crucial uh, step. And then you exit with the exit comment. So, this is method one. And the method two is pretty similar. You first have to uh, select and edit the rescue kernel parameters then instead of rd break you put the init slash bin slash bash at the end of the linux line and then change the read only option to read write to read write read only to read write then you press ctrl x to start booting then pretty much you do not have to mount anything just pass wd and change your password then you, this step is common in both of this both of the methods so you have to auto create the auto level hidden file at the root directory then you run this exec slash as bin slash init it will uh, restart the whole booting process okay so these are the two methods and we're going to see both of them so we have the OS with us, so this is the uh, the the Linux release. So slash cat slash etc OS release. So we've got rel nine point two with us, and to get to the grab menu, let's say I forgot the root password, even though I am currently using the root account, as you can see, root at server day. So who am I? I'm root. But you know, you get the idea. So when you, uh, as soon as you start the machine, you are 
prompted with the grab menu to uh, it gives you an opportunity to select the OS and so just reboot the machine so that we can get to the grab menu okay so after rebooting uh, these two options I have so just normally start if I want to normally start the whole OS then I can select the first option which is red, red handed device plus 5.0 so this is the kernel version and 9.2 plow so I can select that or in our case as we are trying to reset the root password we have to select the second option which is the rescue option okay so select that one and then press E so this will let us edit couple of things so select the line that starts with Linux so this one and then we are following the method one by the way so and then get to the Linux line and then press Control E it will you know move your cursor to the end of the line and then type rd dot break that's it nothing more nothing less just put this at the end of the line that starts with Linux don't put it anywhere else because it will mess things up and you can you know end up with something very very much messy and disastrous so do it with utmost caution so select the line that starts with Linux put rd.break at the end of the line press ctrl x it will start the booting process and it will take you to the switch underscore root uh, at the slash directory okay and then you just type mount o remount at read write mode slash sys root so the mounting process is done then you change root to sys root and then you can change your password so pass wd I'm changing my password new password so this is not asking me to give it the current password it is just straightforward asking me what the root password should be so I'm giving it a new password which is student1 regret the password student1 okay so password update is done and you have, you have to don't forget to uh, make the hidden file for the AC Linux which is auto relabel so touch slash dot auto relabel that's it now it's not uh, don't make a file named dot slash so don't make this mistake of making file name something like this so dot slash dot or dot slash don't make it like this don't don't make it like this because we're not trying to execute any script so this is not our goal our goal is to create a hidden file at the root directory so this means at the root and then dot the file name is dot auto reload so this because this is a hidden file we're not trying to execute any script over here okay and then as we have created the file just simply reboot meaning just exit the shell okay exit type the exit twice it will boot the system and it will take us to the grub menu again okay and our password is by the way already got changed so simply you don't have to go to the rescue menu anymore because our password got updated so straightforward just go select the first option because we, we want to enter to the OS we do not want to change the password or do 
we don't want to mess with the OS anymore so yeah so this is so this Linux uh, my Linux is a minimal installed server so just log in with the root and the newly changed password student1 and we got into the system so this is the method one we've seen just edit the grub menu select the rescue kernel with e put rd back at the end of the linux line then start with control x to start the boot process then you know type all those comments so mount then say true that pass wd to change the password here you change the password the way uh, it is you know you intend to or you are asked to and then touch uh, auto relabel for AC Linux and let's say the second method which is pretty much same way you have to get to the grab menu first and then put this line this line at the end of the Linux uh, you know line instead of RD break so init slash bin slash bash and the second thing you got to do is you go you got to change the read only option to read write option okay so this you need to do and then pretty much uh, get out of the grab menu with control x and then pass wd to change the password then touch uh, this is for ac linux and then exec sbn slash init so don't put exit over here because it does not work instead you have to execute the init meaning the initialization uh, command of the OS you have to execute that e exiting out of the session will not work in this case in the case of method 2 so let's go to the method 2 now so let's use this same OS that we've just uh, update our password and let's revert back to the uh, to our original password so reboot let's get to the grab menu again so this is the grab menu so select the second one which is the res rescue kernel and press just simply press e at the keyboard get to the linux line control e to the to get to the end of the line type in it equals slash bin slash bash and then what you do is change the read only option so uh, if as you can see if you follow the cursor here we have got just before the word resume we've got ro so remove these two and type rw because we want to read write the system so put the read write option over here and then press control x control x nothing else to do and we are presented with the bash uh, account okay so here pretty much we don't have to mount anything just type pass w pass wd to change the password so let's revert back to our original password which was student so we've changed the password and then uh, touch the file which is auto reliable pretty much we're done here so to exit out of the system execute the command exit s bin because sudo bin and then here in it that's it so we're just restarting the os that's all okay so it will reboot and give us uh, an option to log in so don't need to change anything anymore because we have already updated our password so select the fast option okay so we have successfully logged into our system 
root then the password student yeah so the changed password is working as expected so just to summarize there are two methods we have just seen uh, that works with rel 9 red hat enterprise linux 9 in terms of changing the root password one is at your left which is you have to edit the grab menu in both of the cases where we edit the grab menu and just type these comments so mount dash o remount at read write option slash sys root then ch root to sys root then you get to change the password then touch the or make the file for the AC Linux to reconfigure and then the method 2 is pretty much the same pass wd then touch auto relabel then execute this uh, init uh, command which will reboot and take you back to the um, OS selection menu of the grub menu then you just select the first option and you'll get your machine uh, opened okay so with the newly set password so this was today's session hope you uh, find it informative if you uh, you know if you like uh, my session so then please appreciate my work with a like of this video and please consider subscribing to my channel because all of your comments and uh, suggestions and likes they you know encourage me to make more videos and if you want to see uh, videos on some technical topic then please comment uh, below uh, so that I get uh, proper suggestions to from you guys okay thank you for today